input and microservices team the next one is so what is the importance what is the importance what is the importance of spring boot if already if already spring framework spring framework is there in market if already spring framework is there in market team okay let us start team so here uh, learn the spring boot and micro services if already spring framework is there in the market what is the importance of this uh, spring boot team now first one why i should learn see most of the most of the java projects most of the java projects has been has been okay, developing has been okay, developing using using spring boot team has been developing using spring boot and microservice architecture team most of the most of the java projects has been developing using spring boot and microservices team that means for all modern based applications for all modern based applications for all modern based applications team applications applications has been for all modern based applications means modern based java projects has been developing using spring boot and micro services team but for all okay, traditional okay, legacy projects legacy or traditional or old java projects are migrating migrating to spring boot and microservices team spring boot and micro services team please so if you are as a pressure as a pressure if you want if you want okay looking for job okay as a pressure if you are okay looking for a job team if you are looking for a job on java but they must to know spring boot knowledge team spring boot and micro services if as a experience the experience they they are expecting you know developer developer must hands on here is only knowledge is enough as a fresher look if you have knowledge okay that would be an enough team here you are the experienced guy so as your experience look resource right as okay as your experience guy okay developers okay, developers must hands on hands on on okay hands on on now see here is spring boot and micro services team so if you are working it will be helpful to switch from your current company to other company or if you are okay looking for the fresher only spring knowledge is not enough but you know you should be you sh should be strong on spring boot and micro services team okay team now so okay next one team what is the importance of okay i, okay, I would say team 99% 99% the projects has been developing okay has been okay developing using using spring boot and microservices services team has been okay developing so you should be strong on okay, spring boot and micro services team so now hey if already spring framework is there in the market why okay, spring boot is coming into the picture if already spring framework is there in the why spring boot is introduced into the market 
what is the importance of this swing boot team now here see what is the main goal of this spring framework the main objective of spring framework is the main objective the main goal of goal of spring framework was spring framework was to make to make j2ee application development was easier to make j2ee application development was easier easier team that means there are so many okay okay drawbacks are other in j2u application j2u applications means i would say servlet here okay here j2u okay j2e okay is equal to so servlets asp ejb rmi and so on so the main goal of this spring framework is to make j2ee application development was easier to make j2ee application development was easier now using spring using spring we can develop we can develop one is web applications standalone applications using spring we can develop standalone applications comma web applications comma now react okay distributed based applications comma reactive based applications comma reactive comma reactive programming reactive programming also team reactive programming applications team hey if already okay spring boot you know okay spring is there okay to develop different kinds of applications to develop to develop different types of applications different types of applications spring guys okay, spring team was introduced many modules in spring framework was introduced many modules in spring framework those are one is spring core module another one is spring mvc another one is spring aop another one is spring jdbc spring orm spring security so many team so many team please try to understand team so using spring there are so many okay advantages are there we can develop you know quick okay development using spring using spring team hey if already spring is there okay if already spring is there why we should learn this spring boot team why we should learn this spring boot team very very important now now it is spring boot team the main goal of spring boot is the main goal of spring boot is to make spring applications spring applications development was easier to make spring application development was easier that means even spring team itself is saying that hey 
there are so many drawbacks is there in your spring framework so many drawbacks is there in your spring framework to address all these drawbacks spring boot was introduced into the market what are the all these drawbacks what are the all these okay drawbacks here now here see to develop any web application using spring using plain spring not spring boot to develop any web application okay okay web applications development or okay implementation steps using spring boot team first point create maven web project okay, second point second point add add required dependencies add okay required okay dependencies in palm.xml add required okay dependencies in palm.xml what are the okay, required okay dependencies in palm.xml number one add spring core dependency add spring mvc dependency add spring jdbc dependency spring core spring mvc spring jdbc add the hibernate or validator dependency add jackson dependency and so on so many okay, dependencies would be there add all the okay, dependencies in your palm.xml third one configure the required beans in configuration either using xml or java config either using okay, xml or java config using xml or java config understood team you have to configure if it is if it is a web application you have to configure dispatcher servlet you have to configure view resolver you have to configure okay now here all our controllers everything you should be confirmed fourth one right one right controller class the sixth one configure notations like are the rate request to mapping at the rate request to body and so on understand team now here see see web application implementation steps using spring mvc not spring boot team using plain spring mvc now here see see to develop one simple web okay, application these many steps are required team these many steps are required so for every project to project for every project to project now here what happened you know step one to step four these are the common team these are the common steps for every project these are the common steps for every project the common steps for every project is called boilerplate code the code which is common for every project is called boilerplate code number one team please try to understand number one note 
So, point number one, we need to write, we need to write boilerplate code, boilerplate code, boilerplate code means the code which is common for every project. We need to write so much of boilerplate code in application development. Now, number two. So, number two is here team. How many dependencies you should add? You have to add so many dependencies. You have to add so many dependencies. Here, developers should remember all the dependencies manually. I may require core, I may require MVC, I may require validator, I may require Jackson, I may require Hibernate. Developer, what you should know if he will be okay, remembered, okay. If he will not okay, remembered, every time you should go to the Google, hey, Spring Framework, Spring, you know, Spring Core, Maven dependency. Go to Google, copy the okay, dependency, use into your project. Spring MVC. Maven dependency, Google, you know, copy this dependency, use into your project. Understood? Okay. Remember, is okay. Next one. We don't know Spring Core version is compatible with Jackson version. What is the Spring Core version is? Latest version is 5.x. Jackson version is 1.x. I mean 2.x. We are not sure which version of jars are compatible with which version. Understood team? I would say dependency management is dependency management management is too hard. Too hard team. Dependency management is too hard. I would say it's a very difficult team, too hard. Dependency management is too hard team. Too hard. Okay, team. Now, okay, next one. So, why dependency management is too hard? I will explain, team. All the cases, I would explain practically, team. Understood, team? So one is okay, dependency management is too hard. Okay, next one thing. So we are addressing this issue here. Okay, next issue team. What is the next issue? See. Developer manual configuration team. Manual configuration. It's a very now here. See how much okay, developer okay, productivity is gone here. Please try to understand. Hey, here the developer need to configure manually all this beans team. The developer need to configure all the all the beans. Need to configure all the beans. All the required objects in either XML or Java configuration. Now, if you do these configurations, okay, what happened, you know, if you did this configuration, okay, what happened, you know, spring bean configuration is okay, nothing but, hey, developer should spend so much of time, so much of time consuming, so much of time consuming in in your project some 50 beans are there 50 beans developer has the responsibility to configure each and every bean one by one it may take some one day or two days only for bean configuration to remember to remember the x Next one team, next one team, it's too complex team. Here, over the period of the time, okay, Spring guys has okay, realized that, hey, Spring is 
I would say um, summary is that is over the period of the time spring has realized that spring has more configurations spring people itself have realized that spring has more configuration and less code more configuration and less code team Okay, team. Now, last drawback, team. What is our okay, last drawback? Fourth one. Fourth one. Spring. Spring will not support. Spring will not support non functional requirements. Non functional requirements by default. If you want to support, we, we should enable like explicitly. We should enable explicitly non functional requirement like you know, monitor your application. Okay, what are the non functional okay, requirements? Are there means you have to, you have to, how you are okay, okay, application okay, health checks. How your application metrics, how your okay, application logs, how your okay, application, okay, uh, you know how your application monitoring. You no, know, you want to implement right. We need to. So if you want to okay, enable all these things using Spring, we need minimum one month time to set up this one one of okay, a dedicated team need to to enable to enable non-functional requirements to, okay, enable non-functional features features for production ready applications we need to we need to set up a dedicated team set up a dedicated team who should works who should work 24 by 7 who should work 7 in monitor our application team in monitor our application monitor our application team let's do team see now to overcome all these problems to overcome all this developer pain steam hey spring boot has introduced into the market to overcome all these drawbacks or pain steam spring boot has introduced into the market team i would say strongly all these are called drawbacks of all these are called drawbacks of drawbacks of spring application team drawbacks of spring framework drawbacks of spring framework team understood team all these are usually called drawbacks of spring framework team so it is boilerplate code and dependency management is too hard and developer as the responsible to write the everything as a manually okay everything as a manual configuration okay they should do understood team and look next one so here it won't be support for non-functional requirements team to overcome all these problems now you should go ahead with the spring boot the main goal of spring boot is to make spring application development was easier to make spring application development was easier easier team okay now spring is spring boot is not replacement of spring spring framework number three now see spring boot is is the new module or new project new project new project in 
spring framework spring boot is new module or new framework new project in spring boot okay team now now here let's see now please okay, try to understand to to implement to develop okay any application in okay spring boot spring boot using spring boot using spring boot we can develop we can develop any type of application any type of application like any type of application like a standalone applications b distributed applications c web applications now here reactive programming of applications a that means to what you understand input is required all the existing spring modules all the spring modules spring boot is required all the spring modules to develop develop any type of application develop any type of okay, application okay team that means okay okay how can i say here i have a have a spring now the basic module in spring is spring core so on top of spring core only we have so many other models are there i would say strongly on top of my all other modules spring boot is there okay spring boot is there on top of spring boot my application is there on top of spring boot my application is there please now i am filling this here spring core is the basic module in spring application development this spring core so here is the basic module or basic in now project in spring framework on top of spring core only i would say we have mvc we have jdbc we have ORM, we have security, we have now here see all other models team. Now we have AOP and so on. Okay, team. So okay, without this spring core, there is no spring batch. There is no spring framework team. Okay, and so on team. Similarly. Without spring, all the modules underline. Without spring, all the modules, there is no, there is no spring boot team. There is no okay, spring boot team. There is no okay, spring boot team. See, to work with spring boot, to work with the spring boot team, we should have strong knowledge on all the spring modules team now here is our application team here is our application okay to avoid this confusion my java application will use spring boot spring boot internally will use all the spring modules all the spring modules all the spring modules of internally will use spring core team spring core team spring core Okay, team. Now, please concentrate. Okay, basics are okay, very, very okay, important, team. Hey, see, I would say, I would say, Spring Boot is equal. Okay, all the, all the Spring modules, all the Spring modules, all the Spring modules, team. But if already okay, Spring Boot is there, uh, already Spring is there, why you should go for this? Okay, Spring Boot means the spring boot features what are there okay spring boot features first feature team a first feature i would say it will remove the complete by plate code it removes removes complete 
बॉयर प्लेट बोर्ड नैक्स्ट वन टीम डिपेन्डेंसी मैनेजमेंट easier easier means i would say developer i would say okay one line statement in the bracket developer no need to remember no need to remember all the required dependencies all the required okay dependencies you may ask hey okay without okay remember okay okay without remember who will take care to add the spring core spring mvc spring jdbc all these okay, required dependencies hey developer you don't worry you will tell what type of okay, application you want you want a okay, publication just you should inform to me your spring boot will take care you want a standalone application just to okay, inform to me okay, spring boot will think spring boot will take care developer no need to developer no need to you know added all this okay all this so many okay, required okay, dependencies so here so it the, there is a concept is called starter dependencies there is a concept is called starter okay, dependencies this starter okay, dependencies with the help of starter okay, dependencies spring boot will take care okay, development is easier okay, development is easier okay, next one auto configurations what is auto configuration okay online statement team developer no need to no need to configure the beans means either using xml or java config team see now here what are the drawbacks are available using this thing first to draw back it will remove the boilerplate of the code second drawback it will you know dependency management is easier developer no need to okay, remember all the required okay, dependencies who will take care your spring boot will take care how spring boot will take care that will okay, discuss okay, next classes auto configuration i would say zero beans configuration hey developer you don't worry about you don't write single file of configurations here you see okay everything who will take care your spring boot will take care in your real time see to add all the required dependencies if it is scratch project okay, six hours or okay, 10 hours okay, it would be happened to if we, okay, if your project will have huge beans maybe some of okay, the 10 hours are okay, required to configure all this beans team to write okay kept dot xml and all maybe Okay, two hours is a okay, required team. Every project around 12 to 20 hours means around two, three days. Developers are only spending on configuration, adding dependencies, all these things here. You can overcome all these things. Hey, developer, you don't need to write any configuration. Your Spring Boot will take care. You don't need to add any dependencies here. Who will take care? your spring boot will take care team everything your spring boot will take care i would say here developing spring applications will take will take one week using spring boot i can say in one day or half day that much of productivity would be improved you know for the developer using spring boot fourth one team Spring Boot, beautiful concept is called actuator. Actuator. Okay, told right. Non-functional requirements. You need to set up the okay one okay dedicated team. Okay, health check, monitor, logs, and all. Don't worry. Hey, Spring Boot will provides the production ready production ready based applications production ready based applications that means you will support non functional okay now all okay it will support non functional okay, requirements future city developer no need to worry about by default spring boot has provided the actuator actuator using actuator we can develop 
production ready based applications team how to develop how to use i will explain all in later team okay next one what is the okay, next one is okay, important is called embedded server hey if you want to develop your application in cloud environment microservice architecture microservice most of the microservice architectures are cloud cloud based applications if you want to run your application in cloud this embedded server is mandatory embedded server is mandatory i would talk about more on this later earlier we are deploying if it is a, if it is a okay, traditional application okay, traditional means old application develop application deployment deploy in external tomcat server now you don't need to okay, deploy okay, external that is the magic here now now what is there here modern application applications what is what is embedded server means application your tomcat server server or inside application is called embedded server of inside of application is called embedded now what you will do hey developer you will okay, develop a application deploy application deploy application into using inside in tomcat server deploy the application in tomcat server within application how to do and all we'll see how to do and all the main advantage of this embedded server is scaling your instances scaling of instances scale your application scaling application would be would be easy scaling of application would be easy sir what is scaling application how the scaling application i would explain later everything sir from the scratch to in depth i will explain please you know we'll spend okay later on this okay team okay, okay next one team hey generally during our application development we used to do yes no development if any small issue will come again you should uh, modify the code compile it uh, run it and deploy it so much of time it is taking to improve our developer productivity what this spring boot guy you know has has introduced one more feature is called dev tools has introduced one more feature is called dev tools dev stands for okay developer tools i would say okay, developer tools it is used to to improve the to improve the developer productivity to improve the developer productivity team now okay, next one team spring boot cli command line interface for pick prototype for pick prototype of application it is for it is used for to develop POCs group of concepts team these are the advantages of using spring you know team if you learn all these features that's it spring boot is done team but learning future by future is okay difficult to team i mean taking more time that is okay, that will start team hey most of the guys are asking sir what is the okay, spring boot version you are using spring boot and okay spring versions spring boot spring and spring boot versions i would say some latest version of spring is 5.x and the latest version of spring boot is 2.6.6 is released in market march 
April 1st, 2022. You can imagine how we are latest with the, our tech stack. Now we are going into build all our applications using 2.6.6 only. Still, like a development is going on. So that is called in 3.0 snapshot. Snapshot you should not trust anymore. Always, okay, you should go for release versions. Okay. So these are the why you should go for Spring. You know what are the okay advantages of uh, using Spring Boot over Spring Framework. This is the first day of okay demo team. Now, hey, to attend this course, what are the pre-requesting is okay required team? I would say for Java, servlets, basic JDBC, but all Spring modules, Spring modules, basic knowledge than Spring modules. Even though if you don't know knowledge, no problem. We will take care team. I would okay. I would okay, explain okay, everything team about this spring modules team. But you should be strong knowledge on core Java servlets JDBC team. Okay, remaining okay, nothing is okay, required team. So Okay, timing stream will be start 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. Okay, weekends, weekends, it is for okay, weekday stream, Monday to Friday. Weekends, the timings may be some three hours or two hours, okay, depends. Stream. hours would be their team duration one of month two months two to two and of so what topics we are going into covered means now here see team it is our actual syllabus spring boot okay, introduction spring boot how the auto configuration will be enabled in depth we are going into see auto configuration spring core core dependency injection without spring boot how the spring core is there with the spring boot how the spring core is there how much of time it was developing uh, spring core standalone applications using spring core without spring boot with the spring boot how easy we are going into C. Same like uh, Spring MVC, web, web application of a development team, how to using without Spring Boot, how the development was there with the Spring Boot, how the development was there, we will see team. Spring Boot of internal team, we are going into see practically how internally Spring Boot annotations will work, how the Spring Boot, you know, application will start how the spring boot will you know bootstrap the applications each and every annotations each and every flow we are going into see okay in depth team we are like you know r and d like okay, anything like spring data and jpa how to okay integrate your we are going into c team after that okay rest apis how the rest apis okay development is there to start your okay, rest apis what are the main Jackson and Jacks B? These tools are required. We are going into see basics. Then how the REST API standards and Swagger implementation, how it works. After that, we will see team Spring Cloud with microservices team. So microservices is built on you no. Know, what are the architectural design patterns were there you know how to implement this spring okay spring cloud with micro services what is the importance of eureka and you know how to micro services can communicate with each other 
using load balancer using with different kind of algorithms we are going to okay dockerize using docker all our microservices services we are deploying our application into aws cloud team how the spring micro services are resilient using okay histrix or circuit breaker and all how the spring cloud gateway would be happened how to distribute logging using sleuth logging jipkin or elk like kibana okay, elastic log stress and kibana how the oauth 2.0 internally will work how to implement you know see we are deploying our application into docker use and also kubernetes also we are doing all of our orchestration team then few design patterns also you'll see team this is end to end what we are going into develop of okay, implement our spring boot under spring cloud with micro services course and content team